Hey, what is going everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video and in this video Obviously, we're going over the top five best centers in NBA 2k20 mining team at this current moment I actually had this video already recorded But I went back and like re-recorded because we got um, some new cards yesterday and one of the ones apparently my controller wasn't even turned down there it is boom um one of the cards that we got yesterday uh definitely deserves to be in this list and it's shaquille o'neal so i had to remake my top five list and do all that so make sure you guys watch this entire thing all the way through and let me know what your personal top five list would be compared to mine and how you think i did um and if you guys want a budget version of this i know i i said that i might be streaming today but i decided against it didn't really feel like it um 2K's ass, and I just didn't feel like playing it too much today, so, you know, that's why there's no stream. But, starting in at number 5, we actually have the exact card I was just talking about that dropped today, and it is Pink Diamond Shaquille O'Neal, who I think is actually amazing. Like, he's actually really, really, really good. Um, he has a 92 driving layup, 96 post hook. That post fade's a little low. But, 69 mid-range shot, only a 53, uh, 75 free throw, 99 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk okay playmaking with an 80 pass like he's actually pretty good a 95 block 70 steal 70 some perimeter defense and a 96 interior defense 95 offensive 98 defensive rebounding an 84 speed 76 people ball 84 acceleration which is absolutely crazy and 84 lateral quickness 20 all of fame badges brick wall pick and roller cross key score contact finisher post pick technician drop stepper poke back boss because this adventure lops a defense from a protector back down punisher box more defensive leader intimidator moving chalk rebound chaser pogo stick post move lockdown and tireless defender also has six gold badges which includes clamps quick draws dream shake some nice stuff uh, that helps him out and i know some of you guys are probably gonna be a little bit upset why isn't shaq higher why isn't shaq higher um his release sucks <laughs> um he doesn't have a good midi and he doesn't have a good three um and that's really it man uh i just i'm not a big fan of shaq in general in 2k and i just feel like how bad he is at even semi spacing the floor uh for me personally really hurts him um, and the card that I have over this actually coming at number four, I think is like Shaq just taller and a little bit better because you can space the forward just a little bit more. And speaking of that number four card, we have to go to the PC for it and it is Galaxy Opal Mark Eaton at our number four spot. Mark Eaton is a seven foot four center, which is absolutely crazy. And the reason that I'm saying I like him better is you can see a 75 shot mid. So, so, so much better than the 69 that Shaq has because with a coach boost, with a you know floor general boost that can go up be respectable and even with some sort of like bummy shoe to move that up it's awesome uh he has an 85 free throw which is better than shacks he's a little bit slower but he's also taller so it's okay a 74 speed 59 speed wall 74 acceleration has a 85 driving layup 97 standing dunk 85 driving dunk uh, 92 post hook 88 post fadeaway 97 offensive and defensive rebounding a 99 interior defense 80 perimeter defense a 84 lateral quickness, 79 steel, 99 block, and a 97 shot contest. And I know some of you guys are like, oh, but you said Galaxy Open Market and wasn't worth locking in. He's not worth locking in because there's so much MT that you're locking in there, man. We're talking like 500k and no cards worth that. But Mark Eaton is still a top center. I just don't feel like he's worth the amount of MT that you guys have to put in there to get him. Uh, Badge-wise, has 18 hoffs, back down punisher, drops, ever lob, city finisher, pick and roller, put back, boss, post pick technician, box, brick wall, heart crusher, intimidator, moving truck, post move lockdown, remount chaser, room protector, tireless defender, trapper, worm and defensive leader, has gold clamps, has gold quick draw, which is awesome. Uh, if you guys ask anybody who has Mark Eaton, he's a clamp god in the paint. Um, I've heard that he completely shuts down Shaq, um, which is amazing for him. So, absolutely great card, and again, amazing card, just not worth the MT that you're locking in. Coming in at number three spot is Bill Russell, one of the cards that surprisingly none of you guys asked about, even though he was really good running at the power forward. Um, again, I have him at center, but if he is running against a Mark Eaton or a Shaq, you might want to run at the four and run a taller center um, at the five. So, we're going to show his stats with Evo, because obviously... Who doesn't want Bill Russell without Evo? Another card that I don't recommend locking in, but it's not as bad as Mark Eaton because the set's a little bit cheaper. Has a 90 mid-range, a 93-point shot. Gets range extender as well. I'm sorry that I can't show the badge boosts that he goes up with. Um, but just to trust me on those. Has an 88 speed, 66 speed wall, 87 acceleration. A 75 driving layup, 95 standing dunk, 90 driving dunk, an 86 post fade, and 94 post hook. 99 interior defense, 84 perimeter defense, an 88 steal, 98 block, 97 lateral quick, 97 shot contest, sorry, with an 86 lateral quickness, and 95 offensive and defensive rebounding, a money release, 
already has gold quick draw and with this evo gets a bunch of shooting badges stuff like that i know i can't show it to you but he does get them uh seven ten fame badges kiss the finisher contact finisher pick and roll the put back boss box Brick Wall Chase Honors, Heart Crusher, Intimator, Moving Truck, Pogo Stick, Post Move, Lockdown, Rebound Chaser, Rip Protector, Tireless Defender, Warm and Defensive Leader. Also has that clamps. And he's one of the best um, centers at guarding just every single position on the floor. He literally can clamp anybody no matter what the position. Um, and that's exactly why uh, he is a top card. Switching back to the PlayStation, show you guys number two and number one. And coming in at our number two spot is one of the cards from the reward tier in the token market galaxy opals and it is david robinson david robinson is amazing man and i just i hate that all of these top centers are like you have to lock in and stuff like that like three of the five cards that i'm going to show you today you either have to spend 750 tokens after getting to the galaxy opal tier or lock in sets it's tough man it's tough but has 20 all of fame badges brick wall deep fades pick and roller contact finisher pop, pick and popper back down punisher worm post ping technician drop separate tireless defender post move lockdown pogo stick lopsy finisher rebound chaser rim protector moving truck box intimidator defensive leader and heart crusher sadly has steady shooter i know it's tough has steady shooter but also has quick draw and some great 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 badges all of his gold ones are absolutely amazing obviously you can check them out if you guys want to and has bronze clamps which is nice for a center has a 90 driving layup, 98 post fade, 96 post hook, a 98 mid range, and 86 three point shot, 90 free throw, 95 standing and driving dunk, and eh, playmaking. But again, he's a seven foot one center, so it's okay. A 98 block, 77 steal, 80 perimeter defense, and 98 interior, 97 offensive, and 98 defensive rebounding, and 84 speed, 54 speed ball, and 84 acceleration with a 90, 70, 90, 79 lateral quickness. I don't know why I couldn't say it, but D Drive has a money release, money animations, and the only thing that sucks about him is he does that point up after a miss animation way too often and it really 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 hurts him which is kind of tough uh but last but not least coming in at our number one spot for the best center in my opinion in nba 2k 20 is going to be from the frostbite set and it is pink diamond anthony davis anthony davis is six foot ten so a little bit undersized but that's okay has a 99 offensive 98 defensive overall you can see that he has 18 hops um Deep fades, catch and shoot, dead eye, difficult shots, pick and popper, acrobat, illness finisher, post pick technician, pick and roll the cross key score, contact finisher, gets the finisher, post move lockdown, lobsy finisher, pogo stick, rim protector, rebound, chaser, intimidator, and obviously 27 great gold badges, including clamps, offensive leaders, stuff like that. Um, has quick draw, it'll pop up eventually, the range accelerator, and quick draw, and no steady shooter. Ain't that crazy, no steady shooter. That's amazing, man. It's amazing. That means AD is money from three. It's awesome. Has a 95 driving layup, 93 post fade and post hook, a 96 mid range, 89 three point shot with a good release, 90 free throw, 95 standing dunk, 90 driving dunk. Uh, decent playmaking for center actually has an 88 block, 80 premier defense, and a 95 interior, 97 offensive and defensive rebounding, an 86 speed, 78 speed ball, and an 85 acceleration with an 87 lateral quickness. Easily one of the top centers in the game and obviously can also play power forward very well, just like a lot of these cards on the list. And if you're going to pick some, I would recommend a Anthony Davis or a Bill Russell at the four instead of some of these other guys because I like insane shooters at the four instead of like non-shooting bigs at the four you know that's just me um let me know how I did on this list like the video you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new on that road to 3.9k hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see y'all in the next video and I got this soul.